is from the Pro Go Pro to Pro Go to Go. The Pro Go to Go. No. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a little review and swatches video for y'all today on these two adorable palettes from Tarte. This is the Tartist Pro To Go, and this is the Tartist Pro Glow To Go. So we're gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about pricing, we'll look at packaging, we'll look at some swatches, and then I'm gonna do some comparisons between the Tartist Pro To Go and a couple other palettes that I have from Tarte, just to see like, is it comparable? Are there dupes? Are there similar shades? Or is it pretty unique? So just a little bit of comparing. And then I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts and impressions on these palettes, so let's get to it. First off, let's start with the Tardis Pro Glow To Go because I don't own the larger one to be able to compare it for you, but this retails for $23 and you get three powders in here that are .08 ounces each. The large size, like the full size of the um, Tarte Glow Palette is $45. So just a little comparison there. Love the packaging on this. It is so cute with this design. It's that kind of like, I don't know, rubbery, narzy feeling sort of packaging. So I think it's really cute packaging and it's very small and compact, so love that about it. So in this palette, this is a contouring and highlighting palette, so you get one matte shade and two highlight shades there. So let's look at some swatches. Okay, starting with the contour shade, this one down here is Chisel. It's a really beautiful matte contouring shade. I love the tone of this. It's very mid-tone. It's really, really great for contouring. Pretty, pretty color. This one in the middle is Burst. It's a really beautiful kind of shimmery metallic golden sort of a color. It's a light gold though. It's really beautiful. And this one here is Gleam. This one is more of kind of like a white icy sort of a color. It's a really pretty highlight too, but I do like that they're different. I think they did a good job of doing very kind of neutral highlight colors, but ones that are also different from each other. So there are the swatches on this palette. Then as far as formula and how these are to apply and just my overall impressions on this palette, I really, really like this palette. I have the contour shade on and the highlights. I have the golden one on my cheekbones and then I have the um, Gleam, the lighter icy color on the inner corners of my eyes. Love them. I think that they blend so nicely. They apply really nicely. They wear well throughout the day. They're really buttery and pigmented in their formula, but they're not hard to blend. Like they have a lot of pigment to them, but they blend out really, really easily. I think this would be really pretty on the eyes too. So great for traveling. So great for contouring on the eyes and just overall a really easy, compact, nice palette. Love this one. Then we have the Tardis Pro To Go. This one is $23 and you get six shadows in here that are 0 0.03 ounces each. Let me show you size wise in comparison to the Tardis Pro palette. So significantly smaller, so super, super cute and little and tiny, and I think it's adorable. And here is the Pro Glow To Go. So you can kind of see like comparisons of, you know, how they all differ in size. So these are definitely much smaller. Um, and you do get the six shadows in there, which I think is really nice. You have a lot of variety in here. So you do get, um, let's see, there are three mattes and three metallic-y shimmery shades. So there are those. There is um, a mirror up here, and there's also a mirror in the Pro Glow To Go. I forgot to mention that, but there is a mirror in there as well. So there is the shade selection in this one. It's a very warm toned palette, so it's very kind of like um, burgundy, warm camel sort of colors, just really, really warm, beautiful shades. I do have these on my eyes today, so let's look at some swatches. Okay, starting with the top left side of the palette, this one is Drive. This one is Stylin, those are both mattes. This one is Boss. This one down here, this is the bottom row of the palette, that one is Hype. This one is so pigmented, that one is Crisp. And then this last one right here, that one is Dominate. So I have to like move my head to be able to see the name of the shadows because it's so reflective in that palette. But there are all of the swatches, all super pigmented, so buttery and beautiful. I mean, these swatches were not difficult to build up at all. They're just like, wha-bam, pigmented, 
right from the get-go. Now for some comparisons. Here it is in comparison to the Tartlet Tees palette. So the Tartlet Tees is on the top and the Tartus Pro To Go is on the bottom. So the Tartus Pro To Go is definitely warmer. This one is a lot more cool toned, like purpley pink sort of shades. But honestly, I think they'd go really well together. So if you're traveling, you could bring them both. Even at home, you could use them both together because while they are different, this one is a lot more warm toned with those blending shades and this kind of like, you know, caramely, I don't know, camel sort of color there. So this one's definitely more warm toned, but they do have some shades that kind of like start to like go together. You know what I mean? With those like purpley burgundy sort of shades. Really beautiful. I love both these palettes. And here it is in comparison with the actual Tardis Pro palette. These seem a little bit closer to me because they each have like those sort of like warm shades in there. And then they also each have some of those kind of like burgundy purpley sort of shades, some metallic shades. This definitely has more variety in it, the big version. Um, but there are some like similar shades in here that appear in the smaller palette. So these do have some similarities. I came in a little bit closer again because I wanted to be able to show you some up close comparison swatches. Because when you get into comparing these shadows, there really aren't any exact dupes at all. And there really aren't very many that are even that close. They look like they might be in the pan, but when you get them swatched, they really are very different. So over here, this one right here is Minx from the um, Pro, the large Pro palette. This one is from the Pro Go, Pro to, Pro Go to Go? The Pro Go to Go, no, the Pro to Go palette. So this one is a lot more kind of like reddish toned and like purpley pink to it. That one's a lot more kind of like dark purple. These two right here, this one is Whimsy and that one's really not that close to that one. It's a lot more kind of like reddish toned. This one down here is Glam. Again, not that close. Over here, this one right there is Ethereal. That one's really not that close either. This one's a lot more golden. This one, just so you know, the ones in the middle, those are still the Pro To Go swatches. On the outsides are from the Pro palette, the large Pro palette. This one right here is Smoked. Again, it's darker, so it's not the same. And then this one right here, that one is Innocent. Those aren't that close either. So just so you know, like if you are wondering, are you gonna get some dupes or really close shades if you get the Pro To Go, if you already have the Tardis Pro, Really not, you're getting different shadows in here, which is really exciting. As far as formula, blendability, performance, and just what do I think about this palette overall? I really, really love this palette. I also really love the Tardis Pro palette. I know it kind of gets mixed reviews, so I think it's gonna be one of those things, if you like the Tardis Pro shadow formula, I think you'll really like this palette as well. If you don't like that one, I don't think you'll like this one. So it's gonna be just like a personal preference. What do you think about that one? You'll probably feel the same about this one as well. But I think it's just so cute, little, compact, works well, blends well. I love the color selection. Honestly, I think if I would have purchased this first, I might not have gotten the Tardis Pro palette because I, while I really love that one, I love how tiny and compact this is and I love the price point on it. It's so good for travel. It's just way more versatile as far as like how much use I'll get out of it and bringing it with me different places. I think I'm gonna get more use out of this one than the Tardis Pro palette. So I love that one, but I think I like this one even more. All right guys, so that wraps up this review and swatches video. So I hope that y'all really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you tried these palettes. What do you think about them? What are your thoughts and impressions? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!